It is Friday, thank goodness, and it's time for Friday Follies. And for that, we turn to Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor. Uh, Raymond, great to see you as always. Okay, President Biden continued what is a very solemn uh, tradition today, awarding the Medal of Freedom. Yeah, awarding it to his cronies and fellow travelers, Laura. With Al Gore, Nancy Pelosi, Jim Clyburn, and John Kerry all getting awards, you could call this the octogenarian participation honors. But Biden had his troubles. My staff hey, hey, hates me doing ad libbing. On and off the screen, Michael Yo, Michelle Yo, excuse me, I'm going to get carried away here. Protect LBTQ, LB, LGBTQ. First met Kayla Ledecky in 2012. She continues to compete this summer the Paralympics at age 27. <laughs> the Paralympics. No, she's competing in the Olympics. But, you know, Laura, you know what this has? A valedictorian feel. It feels as if this is the end of something. So he's trying to get all his pals to get this medal. Remember, Barack Obama gave Biden the Medal of Freedom as he went out of office before Trump took the Oval. Yeah, this is kind of the consolation <laughs> prize for the oldies at this point. Right. All right. Exactly. Um, Raymond. Okay, wait a second. I, what I see you brought that ridiculous lamp. So this I guess my, I guess my... I'm granting you three wishes. It's not Gosh. ridiculous. It's my yes, genie lamp. Ahead. Now look, my first wish All is right. that the Hamas protesters would stop trying to recreate Gaza on our campuses and just go to Gaza. Doesn't that look like fun, Laura? I mean, if this is the picture of peace and justice, I guess give me anarchy. But that's anarchy. It's a disaster. Uh, what was the circular dance? That that seemed like <laughs> that didn't seem out of cause. I don't know what that was. These people are just complete yeah. nincompoops. I mean, I'm sorry. Zorba the Greek. All right. Speaking yeah, of anarchy, little... yeah. Speaking of anarchy, Raymond, I love the student editors of the Columbia Law Review, okay? I worked for the Virginia mm -hmm. Law Review in the day. But Columbia Law Review, they're demanding that the university cancel exams and give them passing grades because they are shaken, not stirred, and unable to focus <laughs> and highly emotional. They're highly emotional due to the violence they witnessed on campus. Yeah, Laura, yeah. I, I read the last line. I read the whole thing, but the last line of their statement is a doozy. It, it reads, I quote, our response is not disproportionate to the outsized impact it has had on many of us in the community. A crowd of people that proudly represent their membership in a <laughs> white supremacist, neo-fascist hate group were storming our campus just days ago. These are lawyers, what? Laura, Who? or potential lawyers. They can't even write a statement. <clears throat> Okay, I don't even know. I don't know what they're talking about there. But uh, I, I, I want to have a news flash for all the all the snowflakes at Columbia. Okay, as somebody who practiced law at a pretty tough firm, wait until they have a partner breathing down their you know their necks about where's the, where's mm -hmm. the memo you're supposed to write. You're supposed to you know bill three thousand hours last year. You only billed two thousand snowflake. They'll be out on their tuchuses. So they have no idea mm -hmm. what real pressure mm -hmm. is. Oh my gosh, heaven forbid they have to like work under pressure. And that's like that well, they want to charge what six seven hundred dollars an hour for an associate's at time. Give me a break. May 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 I recommend a community college writing course to them before they go into the professional world? Oh, given horrible. that statement. No okay, one can Lord, write. My today. second wish yeah. is that act. Actors would stop commenting on things they cannot fathom, like actor Brian Cox. Adam and Eve. Eve is, I mean, it, the propaganda goes right the way back. The Bible is one of the worst books ever, for me, from my point of view. And they'll believe it, because they're stupid enough. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's only the root of all right? theater and the model actor. of every great story ever told, Laura. I mean, Brian Cox should know that. I mean, after that literary review, can you imagine what the Almighty would say about him? Brian Cox is the worst actor ever. I have reserved an alternative <laughs> extended residency for him. Bring an air conditioner, signed God. 
That's what I imagine. Oh, anyway. no. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, and uh, what is he wearing? A nice, comfy turtleneck? What is that? I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> he looks like yeah. he's in All retirement. All right, Raymond, last wish. Remain. Final wish. Yes. Final, final. Final wish is that celebrities would stop auditioning to be pundits or campaign surrogates. This is Robert De Niro talking about his new favorite topic, Donald Trump. Sick. He is really, genuinely a sick person. Nazi Germany, they had it with Hitler. They don't take him serious. He looks like a clown, acts like a clown. I called him Mr. President. He said, you can call me Joe. And I said, can I call you Joe B. Wan Kenobi? <laughs> and, uh, he liked that. That's Mark the Hamill, is not Laura, with who him. was at the White House today. Yeah, yeah the farce is with him. I mean, hit with you know too many lightsabers. That? That's the campaign in action, Laura. Celebrity drop-bys and other people talking for the campaign. You saw what the president does when he comes out. This is going to be a brutal few months until November. I can't believe you didn't hit Mick Jagger at the New Orleans Jazz Fest trashing your I governor it, there in, we in uh, Louisiana. Uh, Next all right, time. Raymond, great to see you. Thanks so much. That's it for us tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.